All right, so Jeff just got a spot for the first elk. Ted's right there off the tree. It's been 22 years in the making. begin. So uh, as we're driving along, I was going to do a little talking. We're going to head over to Eastern Washington tonight and uh, try and get a little bit of video while it's still daylight outside here because uh, it's dark so soon, which kind of sucks. But we're going to run over there and uh, it's supposed to be big snowstorms on the pass. So hopefully we don't get caught going over the pass this evening, but it's supposed to be pretty heavy snow and hopefully we'll get a little bit of cool video from that on the way over. So I gotta work my full day and then I'll be taking off straight from here to head over to Eastern Washington. James is working with me as well. So we'll both do our thing and then head over to Eastern Washington. All right, here we go. Watch out the back window. We say goodbye to the store lights and hello to freedom. Yeah, I'm excited. We're probably going to pass away, though, so. There's a 9 to 5 chance on the drive we're going to die. Yeah. Point passing is pretty bad. Yeah. Here, this is my car. Can I get a new picture? So we basically just heard from this guy that was up here that uh, it's looking pretty bad. There's an accident up at the top of the pass. And so they're re-estimating it'll open about eight o'clock and it's uh, about a quarter tell. So we'll see, I think we're gonna go up and see, he said you're gonna be full four wheel. So it's gonna be some deep snow. We'll see. Definitely dumping some snow up here. We've got Yakima in 64 miles. For engage. The hot. tornado. This looks sick out here in my right. That snowy hillside. So, morning one, and uh, we're heading in in some snow. See what we can get up to. Jeff spotted a buck, which... <laughs> no, he's right there. There he is. He's right there staring at us behind you, Jeff. That's the doe. Take That's the doe. Back up, Jeff. There's the doe going up the hill. There's a buck. Or is that a buck? Is that a buck or a doe? Is that a buck or a doe? Is He does. Is that him? He's going to be with him. Oh, whole there is, there is, there there is. There, is that him up there? Is yeah, that him up there? that's him up there. first elk. Ted's right there off the tree. If we go back up to the backside of these rocks right here, 
Jeff's thing will be able to get up above her and come down right on top of her. So we'll skirt this. She's gonna be up there on that hillside. We made it around the backside from the uh, from the elk, and now we're gonna head up this hill a little bit farther, drop our packs, and then we're gonna try and cross hill over top of that elk and uh, see how that works. Get up here, make sure we're all on. Make sure the cameraman's ready. <laughs> we were just right down there when we spotted her. Don't move your heads around much. She's looking like this. Hold still. Seriously, so sad. trees. There could be more than we know about. Go right towards that little tree there.
I'm pretty sure I got that. You were perfect. Yeah. That was that was like yeah, that was yeah. so perfect. Barry, dude. <laughs> that elf is not going 60 yards, dude. Oh, you hit it. <laughs> oh my God. You hit it perfect, dude. That was perfect. And you wanted to shoot 60 yards away with the wind blowing. And, and you, dude, you, you put it right up to your front shoulder. I guarantee you, in this round time, she's not laying 40 yards behind that down in the bottom of the road. What was that? Like 36? Oh, yeah. 24, 20. What? Dude, when I got, when I got down here, I was standing up. I didn't even see. I saw two of them the whole time. Let's hang out. You better run grab your pack up top. <laughs> I gotta go get my pack. Take the bow, dude. You're gonna see it through Good job, man. A little monologue right here. Jeff just got me my first elk. 21 yards. 
craziest feeling in the world. Like, there's just craziest feeling. It's one of the coolest experiences ever. We're out here in the snow. It's just solid. Now we gotta go find the blood trail. Alright, first sign. Let's see. Follow this along and see if uh, we can find my elk. Right there. Is that it? That's the elk right there. Tits up. That's her. Right there. I thought that was her for a little bit. Boom. Oh, shoot. The old Savora. Savora three blades from Jeremy Hale. Now let's, let's examine the scene. See how many side steps she took? <laughs> Get it good. Look at the scene of the crime. Well, there. Rolled down. Arrow is still there. She came up here. Dude, look at that arrow. She <laughs> sidestepped right here a little bit. And she tumbled. Good size though. Good old limb saver proton. It's been 22 years in the making. Yep. Punched her. Back up just a little bit. Yeah. It's been uh, it's been real and fun. Now let's get some video on the hike out. Get some serious weight. <laughs> oh yeah. yards downhill to the rig and we'll be out. Yeah. <laughs> Karma. That's freedom right there in the signs of a blue Subaru. One hill left. All right, packing up to leave. Got uh, some blood on the arrows, blood on the jacket. And uh, James is trying to get the last little bit off <laughs> from the pack out last night. Throwing oh, in the truck. <laughs> Happy pack right there with some uh, 
pretty <laughs> frozen meat. <laughs> hey, a little look at the broke down camp. We had it pretty rough inside here. But uh, on a serious note, what a camp we got. Whole little shop, beautiful little fire. That's the way to uh, have a laid out camp. on the west side in about an hour and 30 till we get home all right so i just dropped off james and i am uh just a couple minutes away from my house so we'll call this a trip what a successful hunt this was blast jeff showed me a ton about spot and stock and uh Wow, it was by far one of the best hunting experiences that I've ever had. So we'll cap it at that and uh, hopefully you like the hunt video.